Hello, Christy. My name is Sean Everett. I am the website analysis expert over at Zucor Marketing. Thank you so much for talking with Megan. Uh, she sent your website over to me for analysis, so here we go. Now, first off, you guys spent some money on a beautiful website. It is money well spent. Uh, you have beautiful photos showing your work. Uh, there's a lot of places to click and find out more. Uh, it, it just it covers everything. Uh, even uh, uh, satisfied customers have a say here. So that is exactly what you want your website to do. Um, however, I am not here about the aesthetic part of it because a, a good website is, is, like I said, when somebody gets here, this is exactly why you have a beautiful website. But getting them here is the issue. And I'm going to tell you right now that your site is underperforming for the Kansas City and, and the whole northeast of Kansas. You are have an underperforming tool here. And this should be something that you spent money on and will now bring you uh, uh, customers and put money in your pocket. That's what the purpose of this thing is. So uh, let me show you the uh, what everything that I do in this analysis. And uh, it... it It'll be pretty easy to follow along. Uh, it's not rocket science by any stretch. Now, the first thing I do after I look at the site itself is I have a paid tool called Ahrefs, and it shows me the metrics of your site, how it's been performing over the last two months or so. Now, uh, after that, I do a regular old Google search for Kansas City, Kansas commercial roofer. And as you can see, uh, it, this is the results. But uh, the reason that I'm doing this is because Google is going to comprise about 93% of your traffic. Uh, that's how powerful Google is. 93% of the visitors to your site is going to be as a result of a Google search. Now, uh, Google is important to understand because Google can be, I don't want to use the word manipulated, but uh, there, uh, Google has an algorithm that we know what the algorithm is looking for. So it's quite simple to satisfy the algorithm. Now, um, at the very top here, you're going to see that they have what they call sponsored listings, but that means that they have paid to be there. Uh, now, here you also have what we call the map pack in our industry because these folks have done something that the folks down here did not do, and that is they have filled out a Google business profile. Now, a Google business profile is... Uh, like any other profile online, it's going to ask you all sorts of questions about, in this case, your business. Uh, it's going to ask you what year you started. It's going to ask you what your daily hours are, website, of course, and your physical address. And then it's going to ask you to prove that you have uh, ownership of the site that you are filling out a profile for. Probably a pretty good fail safe. Um, and uh, once that is done, and if it is done thoroughly enough, if it is done with the expertise and experience that needs to fill it out, then there is a very good chance that you will come up here to the map pack. And the reason that that's important is because being near the top of a Google search is exactly what you want for your company. There is a monetary value to being higher up in a Google search. Now, the first thing I've told you what the uh, algorithm is looking for is this, filling out the Google business profile. Now we'll get into the other two aspects of the Google algorithm. The first one is that uh, it loves content. Now, as you can see down here, we call this the organic search area. And this is the first uh, commercial roofer that I came across. They're number one on the list. So I'm going to compare you to them for the purpose of this uh, analysis. So. I'm going to show you their website. Here it is, Delta. And I'm going to do something with your site here. I'm going to select all. I'm going to copy, and then I'm going to paste it into this word counter. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because Google loves content. Content is king over at Google. And the reason for that is Google wants their search customers to um, be educated about whatever it is that they are Googling. Now, uh, you guys are running neck and neck here pretty much. Your competitor has 585 and you have 521. But here's the deal. Google wants you to have 1,500 words on your homepage at a minimum because that's what they have determined is necessary in order to educate their search clients, uh, their search customers with whatever it is that they are Googling. So that would be a minimum and it would... Uh, increase your odds of getting to the top of a Google search immensely. 
but uh, all words are not the same at, over at Google, and I'll show you what those what that means. Now uh, we're looking at keywords now. Now keywords are words that belong in your industry, and uh, they come from a variety of sources, like from Google searches and from uh, the names of the communities around you. So there's a lot of variation that Google takes into account. And uh, the reason that keywords are important is because that actually delineates what industry you're in based upon what somebody is searching. So for instance, they would find you as opposed to a dairy farm in Arizona. You know, you, you, that's why the keywords are important. Google has an expectation that there are keywords that should be on your site. Now, I'm going to show you what Delta has. You have 73 keywords and Delta has 170. There are 100 more than you. That's not hard to catch up with. I'm going to show you what their keywords are and um, get a head start on this. Well, Delta, of course, because somebody's looking for them specifically, but commercial roofing contractors, Kansas City, commercial roofing, Kansas City. Um, and uh, this is uh, it sort of looks like a whole bunch of variations on a theme. Uh, and that's the way that the algorithm actually works. It doesn't know what it is looking for. It just knows it is looking for words. Now, the contractors and companies, those are different words. Companies and company are different searches yeah, because the algorithm does not know our language. It just knows what it is looking for. So it does not know singular and plural. It does not know that roofing is uh, related to roofer. Uh, you know, there's all of that stuff. Now, uh, sheet metal is another thing folks are looking at. Um, what else here? I don't know. We care roofing. I don't know what that means. Roof maintenance, Kansas, uh, roofing contractor. Um, not so much about the uh, materials that you use in this particular search. I think that's because as a commercial roofer, um, it's kind of different clientele looking for you. It's not people who are just sitting in their home and worrying about something dripping into the kitchen. So that's probably what explains that. But there are pages and pages of these. There's, you know, at least five pages of these keywords. Now, uh, the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is backlinks. And here's where we see the backlinks. You have 199 backlinks. That is really good. Actually, it's very, very good. And um, it's important to have backlinks because a backlink is something that appears on somebody else's site and there is a link back to your site. So, for instance, if you were on Yelp, say, um, you would have a, a profile there, you would claim the profile, put in your uh, web address, and then there would be a backlink to you. So uh, that is how that works. And the reason that Google thinks that's important, because it's kind of like, I don't know, when the mean girls are standing around the uh, lockers in the high school, you know, they're talking about somebody that makes that person infamous or famous or whatever for a, a while. That's exactly how Google looks at it. The more people that are talking about you, the more links there are to you, the more important you must be. And therefore, they want their customers to go and see you also. So that's what the importance of backlinks are. And I'm going to show you what your competitor has, 444 to your 190. Uh, so that is, again, a they sort of win in that area. Here is what their backlinks are. Homestead.com, Yellow Pages, Super Pages, uh, Chamber of Commerce, uh, Dex knows. But as you can see, this drops off into the 70s pretty quickly. You want your backlinks to be rated in the 90s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Now, uh, this rating is something that is called the domain rating, the DR. It shows the strengths of a domain's backlink profile, meaning that this particular site, homestead.com, has a lot of other sites that refer to it. There's a lot of other sites out there that say, go here for the information you need. That's why it has such a high rating. You actually have a rating also for yours. Your DR is 8. So, uh, you know, which is great for a company of your size. You don't need to be a 91, but you want your backlinks to be on these 70s, 80s, and 90s. So uh, the, the plus here is that they only have about, what, uh, five uh, uh, 90s, and then it drops off pretty quickly into the 70s. So um, you want to stay up there. Don't get these ones down here, one.net.in. I don't know what that means, but I think in is India newfilms.india, that's not where people go for their roofers. So 
<laughs> you can you can ignore those ones. Now here's where the rubber hits the road. I'm going to show you the actual monetary value of this. Now your traffic last month, meaning the number of visitors you had was six, and that is up four from the month before. So you had two in the month prior to that. These are uh, visitors as a result of a Google search. Here's what Delta had. 180 and that's up 25 from the month before so as you can see it is uh, it, you know that many more times uh, an opportunity to get a uh, estimate request to get a customer to get money in the pocket um, and they figured that the value of these 180 visitors was about one thousand four hundred dollars whereas your value is about $21. And that's based on a lot of industry research that AHREF does. So uh, you can see there's money left on the table if you're not higher in a Google search. Now, uh, getting up here in a Google search, I'm gonna do one final thing here, actually. I'm gonna look for you as I scroll down here. Um, and just think about your own Google search habits. How far down do you scroll before you think to yourself, you know what, I've scrolled far enough. I'm sure that whatever I have from here on up is going to be sufficient to what I need. And I still have not found you guys. And I am coming up on page three. How far would you scroll to find you? So um, as you can see, uh, uh, it, it, there is a value to that. Now, uh, if you would rather spend your time roofing, as I'm sure that you are a, a truly expert in, then uh, I would suggest that you give Megan a call and she would be happy to guide you through the next steps and really start putting more money in your pocket. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day.